Hey, Coach, it's mind bomb for you. I'm at a pool, just watch a little kid get pulled out because it's adult swim. He didn't quite like it because he didn't know what adult swim was. So when he came out of the pool, threw his goggles, looked at the lifeguard like he was ready to spit on him, walked over to the kiddie pool, threw his goggles in the pool, sat down and pouted. Hey, whether it's on the field or off the field or in the pool, you know what kind of kids I'm talking about? Kids that need help and discipline or understanding what that energy is. So I got a little trick of the trade that I use I'll pass on to you guys and hopefully it may work for you. I lift them up, I don't yell at them. I tell them, hey, listen, kids, that's energy you got. That's damn good that you got it. But you know what? It's just like, what's your favorite meal? And I ask them, pizza, onion rings are out there in the front right now. And they'll say to the one of them, it's like, that's right, energy. It's got to cook that meal, right? And they're like, yeah. I said, your energy, you got it. However, that energy can be used the wrong way, too. It could be used to actually burn your house down, couldn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, just think about it. When you're throwing that freaking goggles into the kiddie pool, you're burning your house down. So it becomes a trigger point. And I explain that with the kids about don't burn your house down. Keep it true to yourself. So throughout the camp, and they all do. I just look at them and say, hey, you're burning your your house down. But here's the cool thing. Since they added to the story with what their favorite meal was, they took ownership of part of that story. So it seems to work pretty well. But anyway, just a new bomb for today. Let me know what your bombs are if you got any. I'd like to pass them on. See you, see you. New count.